Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizzish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install a Twitter follow button to your website. And here's what that pretty much is. Um, the link that you have associated with this video is, a, is, a, is this link that you're seeing here. And what this basically does is put a follow button on your website that looks like the following. Here's a live one from Mashable.com. Uh, basically, if you see right here, you see how there's a button that says follow and it says at Mashable. Basically, if you click on this button, you see how there's a check mark now that says you're now following at Mashable. Basically, it makes it easy for someone that comes to your website to simply click a follow button and begin following you instead of doing the following like the old way. They would have to click on your social media link, then they would open it up here, and then you had to click on follow or unfollow and all those items, all right? So basically, this follow button makes it one click button for them to follow you from your website instead of having to go to Twitter. Here's how you install this. So what you want to do is go to your admin panel or first go to this page here. Go to the page you see here basically and on this page, this is the link I've given you, on this page just fill it out. So what's your username? And to your Twitter username, so I'll put Tizish. What color background will be used? We'll, we'll just use light and then show follower account. We'll put yes. I think the follower account is pretty good. And then after that, uh, that's it. You want to put English and all you want to do at this point, you may or may not see the button depending on your Twitter settings. But either way, all you got to do is the following. Just copy all of this code here. We're going to right click. We're going to put copy. Now we're going to go into our admin panel. And here in our admin panel, we'll see on our left hand side under appearance, there's a button called widgets or a link called widgets. What we're going to do is put it in our sidebar. So while it's loading, let's go to our home page our sidebar is here we're gonna put it in one of our widgets here in the sidebar alright so let's go back now to our widgets and here's our big list of widgets what you want to do is the following take a text widget so you, here's all the available widgets that you have what we're gonna do is take this is your choice too this is just a simple way after you see how to do this you could do it however you want so let's say we take a text widget and let's pretend we're gonna put it at the top of our website or maybe we'll put it after our email updates. So you put a text widget wherever you want and now all you're going to do is right click, put paste and then simply hit save and now after it saves all we got to do now is go to our go to our home page let's click refresh and we will see our follow on Twitter button right below here. And there it is. You see the follow at Tizish button. That's all you got to do. So put this wherever you want. Um, the an ideal place is either either after your blog post, in your blog post, or actually realistically to keep it really simple, is in your sidebar. The sidebar, as you see here, is really the best place. So choose if you want to put it in here. If you want to put a if you want to put a title with it, it's all up to you. I'm not going to go into all those options. But basically, this was the basics of adding the follow button to your site if you wanted. All right, so pretty much that's everything on adding the Twitter follow button to your website. If you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash Tizish, the way you see it spelled here. Otherwise, go to, definitely come to Tizish.com, check out our WordPress section and see what all of our WordPress theme is all about and see if it's a fit for your system. All righty, well, good luck and take care.